behind you. We need to pray so that God will raise you Amen. and use you there. Amen. Where you are in Mafike. I see Mafike, but you want to come here. You want, you want to work where? No, me. I'm in Pretoria. I have ministry in Pretoria. You, you were not in Mafike? No. You have never been there? Ah. Uh, uh, you will go to Mafike. Amen. You I, receive. There. Huh? I receive. I receive. You are going to go there. Amen, amen, man of God. In, because where you are, the ministry is not working. It's not, yes, it's not, it's not moving true. very well, yes. Eh? There's setback, so, man of God. Okay. There are setbacks. Setbacks. It grows, go down, grows, go down. Yeah, so you go where I told you. Amen, amen, amen. And you will make it today. Amen, amen, thank you. You Jesus. must pray so that you love your wife, sir. Eh? Amen. So, you must love this lady. Yes. You must copy me, eh? Yes, man of God. The way I love you, Nis. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes. So this thing of short temper is not good for you. Yes. Sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Sir. So it's, it's really affecting uh, even your calling. Even your calling. It's affecting. You hear me, sir? Eh? It's also affecting your calling. Yes, man, of course. If you want to succeed in the ministry, you must love your wife. You hear me? Yes, sir. So, don't divorce your wife. Yes, daddy. Because there's this mind that comes to you. That your marriage is not working. Yes, sir. It's not true. It's true, sir. So, this is a marriage from God. Now stop turning around. Go and lift your wife. You hug your wife. You kiss her. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? My name is Pastor Sitlodi. I'm from Pretoria. The person next to me is my husband. Today the man of God located you. Can you tell us what is it that he said to you and the confirmation? Um, he was talking to my husband. He said, um, you must love your wife and um, there's a thought that comes to you that you want to divorce your wife and... Um, you must love your wife and uh, you must, he said, he must imitate him as he loves his wife. And Papa, can you tell us what is it that the man of God has said to you today? Uh, he was, he located me saying that I must love my wife as he's loving his wife. Were you not loving your wife? Sometimes I was thinking to divorce her. And what, what brought about the thought? I believe it was the work of the devil. It was a demon. In and how do you feel? And how do you feel that the man of God located you about something that has been bothering your mind and, and that now he told you, he gave you a word of advice that you should imitate him as he is loving his wife? I'm very excited and happy. I thank God that I was located and delivered. And Mama, how do you feel that God located you in this situation? God's time is the best. And um, the message of today when he was saying that uh, his appointed time, be courageous because his uh, when his appointed time comes, you'll be a winner. So today I believe that it was God's appointed time and uh, we have won the battle. And Papa, what are the words of encouragement would you like to give to those that are watching? Because there are other ministers of God as well that are having a wrongful thought of leaving their wives. And you today, the men of God told you that you should stay in your marriage. What is it that you can say to them? The advice that I can give uh, the servants of God out there is that they must have spiritual fathers. And then they submit and they must always be submissive to the whatever advice they give unto them and everything will be well with them and i believe that the will of god will continue to 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 to, to manifest in their lives as they humble themselves I'm coming soon. god wants to use you eh? but you are very confused it's not true it's true it's true man of god eh? it's true you are so much confused you don't even know what to do now 
because I see your mind is divided. There's a business side. There's issues of the ministry this side. So you don't know now what to do because there's no income. You are struggling a lot. I'm struggling, man, of course. Eh? That is true. But after prayer, God will direct you. Let me touch, let me destroy this side. I've destroyed that side, you are free. And then... Baba, can you tell us your name and where you come from and introduce the person next to you? Uh, uh, Mr. Mulambo, and um, this is my wife. What is it that the man of God said to you today? Uh, the man of God the prophesied me. He said, uh, I'm confused, especially financially. My, my, my thing is blocking. And uh, that is true, I confess. What was happening in your life that was bringing forth confusion? Come again. What was the confusion about? Yes, that is true, yeah. And, and then uh, he prayed for me. And then uh, now I'm free. And then I believe that I'm delivered. Mama, how do you feel that the man of God located your husband? I am so grateful and I feel happy because the thing that man of God was prophesying is true because of things, uh, more especially financially, uh, we were having a financial problem and when we do things, things are not going well, things are always stuck. So I thank God because now we get a breakthrough. Things is going to be well from starting from today. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Yes, you know, I, I, I feel more encouraging, encouragement because of for us to came here, it, it's a blessing and it's a miracle for us because of we came in from far uh, Pretoria. Then we decided that we, might, we want to come and attend the service with uh, Makananese. So he, God used him for us to do a great thing. So I'm so glad and I'm, I'm so blessed. Amen. We need to pray for your womb, eh? Amen. Because you have got problems. Eh? Amen. Yes. And, and it's a long term problem. Yes, daddy. Because I see this thing pulls your stomach inside, you do like this. Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes. Daddy. When you want to do like this, if you feel pains, you pull just like this. It's true, daddy. Eh? Yes. I can tell you, when we break this, you are going to be bl to be blessed. Amen. There's a blessing that is coming to you. Amen. I receive. Eh? Amen. I receive. You must plan a wedding. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Touch your stomach. You are free. Okay. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Brenda. I come from Limpopo Barasa in Jimisim. Today, the man of God located you. Can you tell us what he said to you in the confirmation? Yes. He said that I have a problem in my stomach. Sometimes something moves and it draws me, like it draws back. Yes, and then he prayed for me and said, he sees that I'm blessed. He sees a marriage coming and I received. Glory be to God. And for how long have you been facing this challenge in your stomach? Uh, after giving birth, almost two years now. Can you tell us how was this affecting you? It was very discomfortable. Can you, you can imagine something moving in your stomach while you are sitting or walking, how it can be discomfortable, like something is throwing you. So it, it wasn't easy to cope sometimes. And were you praying to get married as the man of God has declared a mar marriage upon your life? Yes, for a long time I've been praying for that. An answer from God. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Yes, I can say that always keep your faith. Wait on God. Keep on praying. God's time is the best. Never give up and always seek God. God's, in God's house, there's always a solution. Just wait for his time. Amen. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 out. In come Jesus out. name. Amen. I want to speak with you. You have got wrong friends. Amen. That, that has affected your life. Amen. Negatively. Amen. Because I'm seeing people who are drinking around you. Amen. Are you not drinking? No, I'm not drinking. Why you have got friends who are drinking? I, I don't know. They come to my place. Huh? They come to my place. They want to be my friend. 
but they have affected your life. Amen. Even now, there's nothing you have now. Amen. You need to get out from these friends, and God will be able to give you a job. Amen. Because you have been trying to get a job. Amen. Eh? Pardon? You have been trying to get a job for yes. a long time now. Yes, I've been crying for I've been crying for a job. I want a job. So. But but the problem is what your friends here. Yeah. You need to cut off this friend. Let me touch you. Come on. You're free. You're free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Uh, I'm Sylvia Lamina. I'm from Tembisa Vusmos. Can you tell us the prophecy you received in the confirmation? I received the prophecy of finding a job and um, I'm surrounded by the wrong friends. And if I could come out from those friends, then I'll find myself a job. What kind of wrong friends are you having? Uh, the, the, the friends that are drinking and I'm not drinking. Yeah, and those friends, they don't like the way I'm living with my, my men and then they don't want to see me succeed. And when the man of God told you that the reason you're not getting a job is because of these wrong friends around you, how does that make you feel? Uh, it made me feel like, uh, I mean, uh, let me try. Uh, it made me feel like I should come out from those friends and try to live my life on my own, not following the wrong friends. And now that the man of God has given you a direction on what to do and that you will get a job, how do you feel? I feel happy because a job it was something that I needed for a long time. Yes, now I feel free and I'm happy for, for that prophecy. Any words of encouragement to viewers all over the world that are watching? Uh, I, I can say to the viewers, you can come to the church and get your own prophecy so that you could like your, your life will change here at the, at the ch in the church you will like your your life will change in the church you should come to church and you'll see your life is going to change i can say that they should come to church yeah amen you must be careful of boys eh? yes sir you hear what i said yes daddy eh? yes daddy because they are coming to you in a wrong way yes daddy that's true huh? that's true daddy uh, be careful and this thing can affect your calling. That's yes, true, Daddy. Huh? It's true, Daddy. It, they will affect your calling this thing. These people who say they love you, they're not loving you. They're just it's certain sending to you so that your calling will never work. It's true, Daddy. Huh? It's true. Because it takes away your confidence. Look at your Christianity now. It's no longer like before. Yes. It's not true. It's true. You are struggling a lot, even to read the Bible. It's a problem to you. Yes. So I'll pray for you. Please wait for the right time. Thank you, Daddy. The time will come and the people will hear your voice. Thank you, Daddy. I think I once spoke with you. Yes, you did. Eh? You did. About singing. Yes, Daddy. Eh? It's true, so you did. I want to tell you, God is on your side. Please push these people aside and you concentrate. You will see God honoring you. I this receive. year is your year. I receive. You are free. Where is your boyfriend? He's staying in Delmas. Eh? He's staying in Delmas. He proposed last month. Eh? He's staying in Delmas. He proposed last month. And what are you saying? I said yes. Eh? I said yes. So is it not too early for you? No, it's not, Daddy. Eh? Is, is it not too early? It's not too early for you to say yes. <laughs> I, I think I'm ready. I feel I'm ready. You feel you're ready? Yes, Daddy. So now, if now you feel you're ready, all these other ones cut them off. Yes, yes, Daddy. But there are many who are coming to you to confuse It's true. This one. It's true, Daddy. God loves you. Amen. Uh, my name is Nelly Swa. I come from Springs. Okay, the man of God located me. Um, he told me that uh, he sees men proposing me and it has affected my spiritual life, of which I confirm it's true. Uh, there have been men proposing me and uh, due to me trusting them, they ended up failing me and uh, it affected me a lot spiritually. My spiritual life changed, 
my prayer life changed, everything just changed. Yeah. I've prayed so many times about it because um, I've always wanted God to open more doors for me, for my calling. Uh, but due to me trusting these people and them failing me, I, I ended up uh, my spiritual life going down. But by the grace of God, the man of God located me today and of which I always prayed that he talks to me concerning such. I believe by the grace of God that uh, everything uh, has been sorted now. I believe that the man of God, through his touch, everything will go back to normal and God is going to open more doors for me. Any words of encouragement to viewers all over the world that are watching? Um, to everybody that is watching all over the world. Um, yes, it's good to watch Charis TV uh, at home, but uh, the, the, the presence when you are here, it's totally different. The anointing is totally different from when we are at home. You need to come here and feel the presence of God. Uh, you need to come here and uh, experience and encounter the touch of the man of God. Amen. God loves you, eh? God loves you. Because I saw there are people who are dying in your family. Amen. Eh? And you are afraid now, even you, that these issues of dying, dying will come to you. Eh? You hear what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. So God loves you. Don't fear. Let me pray for you. By you, we are stopping death. In Jesus' name. No more death in your family. No more death in your family. You know what I'm talking about? You know her? Yes, yeah, she's my mother. She's your mother. People are dying. You know that? You don't know that? She was sick. She almost died. She almost died. Yes, she was that's in hospital. I, that's why I say I'm stopping death. Because I see people are dying in her family. So she feel like it's a time also to die. Eh? It's not her time. I am also praying for her. You pray for her? She prays so much. Are you not coming here for the first time? No, it's my first time today. She's been coming. It's the first time? Yes. So believe when we say nobody will die. <laughs> Look at And why were you not coming? Why were you not coming? I've been going to school. Huh? Well, everyone's there, I'm at school. So your, today I got a chance because I closed. Your mother will never die. Because she feels it's a time. She's, sometimes she give up and say it's better she die because of how she suffered. <laughs> and then she will never die. She will live long. Thank you. Let me pray for you. Because you have been praying a lot. Yes. Like when you are standing here, yes. there are some people who are against you. It's true. Eh? Eh? See, it's true. Uh, because I just saw people running behind you as if they are chasing you. So always you are guarding your life. It's so true. God loves you. He's going to protect you. Thank you. Are you hearing me? Thank you. Uh, where are you working now? I beg your pardon, sir. Where are you working? I'm not working. You are not working now? Yes. God said I must pray for you for business. I'm because busy with projects. Eh? There's a project that uh, we're doing at... Uh, God say I must pray for you for business, but don't fear anybody. You, you hear me? I can hear you. He's going to protect you. But this man from Pulukwana, he wants to steal this guy I came with from Switzerland. My brother, that's what I'm talking. There are people who are against you. God will fight for you. Are, are you hearing me?
You see, I say there are people who are behind. I see him running. They are chasing him. What? What do you want to kill him now? Oh. Eh? oh. Why? Oh no. Oh. Why? Speak up. <laughs> I'll destroy you here. I don't want to talk. Huh? I really don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Fight! <laughs> oh my god. Why do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill me? <laughs> You've been hiding for a There are people who are this man. So I want to kill you because you want to kill him. Oh, oh goodness gracious. You say what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Come on. I'll destroy you here in the stomach. You see what he's doing there. In Jesus' name. Come on. Huh? You leave him today. Oh, why? <laughs> this young man. He huh? thinks he knows too much. <laughs> oh, he wanted to go to school. He wanted a doctorate at Harvard University. <laughs> Who is he? So Who today is you will live in, in Jesus' name. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh, he wanted a doctorate. Oh. Leave oh. the stomach. Oh. <laughs> In Jesus' name. I declare you free in Jesus' name. Leave him. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Out! Amen. It's over. Amen. Rise up. Rise up, brother. Remember the vision I gave you? Because these are the people of his family who are behind this man. And uh, he's free today. Today you are free. Nobody will do anything to you. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Hey, my name is... Hey, Peggy. I'm coming from First Lores. Can you tell us what the man of God said to you and the confirmation? Um, he said too many things, and uh, which were true, and. Uh, Can you explain what he said to you? I cannot remember chronologically what, uh, what exactly from one to three, but what I can say is that he prophesied that uh, um, uh, stagnation, first of everything. I'm involved in too many projects and uh, they were not happening. And uh, I'm short tempered. Uh, I was honestly leaving them and uh, attend, uh, attended and giving them to people to run them because uh, I, um, I could see that they were after money and I don't worship money. So I, I, uh, I was leaving them with them so that they can continue with them. And how was the problem of stagnation affecting your life? Yo, big time because I even lost my place and as I'm um, around here in, uh, what's this place called? Uh, somebody helped me with a place to stay. And for how long have you been facing this stagnation? Oh, for a, a long period of time. Uh, from, I think, 2003. And how do you feel now that the man of God has located your challenges? No, no, he gave me encouragement and uh, 
he told me that um, all the pillars that I, I was in counting are destroyed. And do you believe that indeed that has happened? I definitely do, because I never told him what I'm doing. He told me what I was doing and what I was facing. Any words of encouragement to viewers all over the world that are watching Charis TV? Um, what I can tell them is that, um, you know, believing, seeing is believing. So they saw exactly what happened. So it's for them, honestly, to pull up their socks and come off so that they, uh, they can be helped. Amen. I